Hey, this is David at PDF Automation Station. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to change the JavaScript editor in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. If you've ever worked with forms in Acrobat Pro, you probably entered some JavaScripts. So I'm just going to press Control Shift 7 so I can go into uh, form editing mode. And I'll just create a button here, go into the properties, mouse up run a JavaScript and I'll just click add just want to show you what the the built-in JavaScript editor looks like it's pretty basic it's just got ok cancel and there's a go to what that will bring you to a specific line there is no line 12 because I don't have anything in there but let's Try that again. Let's go to line seven. See that? So that that's that's all that's in here. That's why I want to change it. So I'll just click cancel and close and exit form editing mode. Um, I'm going to use Notepad as my JavaScript editor. Notepad is just a plain text editor, and that'll work for my purposes. So I need to find the executable file that starts Notepad. So if you just go to the Start button in Windows and type Notepad and make sure you type the file extension exe. And you see it right here, it says Programs Notepad. I'll just right click and open file location. So I can see the path to that file right here it's C Drive Windows System 32 I can just remember that because I can browse to it later or I can right click here and select copy address I'll just close that next thing I do is I go into edit and preferences but there's a shortcut there it's control K I'd rather do that control K will open this preferences Scroll down this column here till you see JavaScript and just select that. And you can see here that the editor is the Acrobat JavaScript editor. I can change the font on that. I could change the size. I'm just going to, um, instead, I'm going to use a totally different editor. So I'm going to click here, use external JavaScript editor. And because I already had it connected to that notepad, it's already in here, it remembered it. Um, but I can also click browse and go find that. Or if it wasn't in here, I can just paste what I just copied from that file location. And it doesn't put the file, so I'll have to put a backslash. I'll type notepad.exe, make sure you have the file extension. Press OK and that's all there is to it. Let's go back into form editing mode so we can see what that looks like. I'll go into the properties here, run a JavaScript. This time when I click add, you see it's a different type of window. It's, uh, it's actually notepad. So I have some more options here. Um, and uh, I use control F a lot, which is just to find something. So I'll just find S, 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 S. Let's try that again. I was past it. Okay, find next. And I also use a lot control H, which is find and replace. So if I want to replace S with XX, replace all, quick way to edit, cancel, and I'll just close that. So that's it. That's how you change the um, JavaScript editor in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more coming out. Thank you.